Okay, so this is going to be hard, but um, two days ago, I was diagnosed with anal cancer. It is um, highly survivable, but it's going to be um, a pretty rough journey for me with both chemotherapy and radiation. Um, I want to document this because when I was having issues, um, I was looking like online for people's stories and just some hope, um, and some, uh, I guess just to hear what, uh, maybe people had been through so that I could, um, have some ideas of what it was like. But what I found was there's nothing. People um, don't want to talk about it. I don't know. I guess it's because it's your bottom. Um, but uh, I wanted to make sure that there was something out there for people if um, they encounter this. So I'm going to document my journey through this time. Um, sorry, I'm really emotional. I'm still in a little bit of shock. So, um, it wasn't something that we thought was even a possibility. So, to not drag this out too much, um, in 2016, I had a surgery because I had an anal fissure, which you can look that up. That is a tear in your anus when, um, it can happen because you get constipated and you push too hard and you tear the lining of your bottom. And so in order to deal with that, I had a surgery that, um, cuts the sphincter muscle and it stops the spasms from happening because when you have an injury in that area, your bottom will spasm and, in doing so, it kind of cuts off the blood flow. And as you know, blood flow needs to go to something to make it heal. They do not um, sew it up or anything like that. You just have to heal on your own. And it's incredibly painful and very difficult. But I made it through the surgery and um, the recovery. And it took a while, um, but I still remained very, very sore in that area. And um, really affected my life a lot. Um, some of you may know that who know me. Um, it kind of just stopped me from being so active. Um, I didn't want to do a lot of stuff. Um, I always wanted to go home pretty quick from somewhere. Um, that kind of thing. So then I just kept struggling and struggling and struggling with that. And um, that went on for quite some time. And then uh, last year, 2018, about, I don't know, maybe September I noticed another incredibly sore spot near my anus, and I thought, well, I've torn, I've got another tear, another fissure. So, um, I began just treating that myself because, like I said, there's no, um, they don't fix it. It's just a matter you have to heal on your own. So, that's what I started um, doing. I thought, okay, this is going to heal, and it just wouldn't. Um, that was probably in... September, I guess, 2018. Um, sometime in the fall in October, I noticed a, a lump down in the same area near that really sore spot. And I thought, wow, that's strange. But then I thought, okay, maybe it's a hemorrhoid. It It is inside more than outside. But I could feel it. And as it grew, I could feel it on the outside. And it was very sore. And, um, I could not get in to see the doctor. I had to go see the nurse practitioner, and I waited till January to do that because I kept thinking it's probably some little bit of infection. It has to do with this fissure. It's got to heal on its own, um, just doing that kind of thing. 